Expedition Theme Park. Interesting stuff on theme parks and rides. Their Expedition Extinct series has some good videos on some weird theme parks they made. Interesting. Let's uh let's look let's see if there's a banger that's not super long. The troubled history of the Smiler Secret Weapon 7. Yeah, let's do it. Alton Towers in the UK holds the current roller coaster record for most inversions. These 14 inversions though would There's a flash warning already, by the way. Yeah, also thanks for the warning on the British jump scare. Would drastically impact the future of the park Inconsiderate. with one tragic event. This is the story of the Smiler. Whoa. <laughs> Join us. Based off of what I'm already seeing, if anybody has like prone seizures to flashing lights, like I think you're going to want to not watch this. Come back in 20 minutes. You belong to the Smiler. The what Smiler, the world's fuck? first 14 looping roller coaster. Book now at AltonTowers.com. Excuse me. You are now starting your correctional process. The black hole was added to Alton Towers in 1984. The new ride captured the imagination of guests visiting the park. Located in a large tent, it was the park's second major coaster. It was even dismantled and modified to fit coupled trains instead of single trains to increase capacity of the popular ride. In 1997 though, something big was coming to the area. Every ride from the zone was removed except for the black hole and construction began on Secret Weapon 4. Don't look down! The first of two world's first coasters what is secret that would eventually weapon? end up in... Is Secret Weapon like a theme park series in, in England? Because like, th whatever this is, is Secret Weapon 7? Is Secret Weapon like a roller coaster team? Is there any British people here? Is anybody willing to out themselves as British? <laughs> it's an Alton Towers thing? Okay. <laughs> Mods, can you ban anybody answering my question? The zone. In addition, Energizer and Enterprise were added and the area was Getting. re-themed to X Sector. The brand new zone was to be themed to a sinister futuristic government facility. In 2005, Black Hole closed due to health and safety changes and Alton not wanting to spend money to bring it up to code. And Oblivion stood by Shocker. itself as the only roller coaster in the zone. That though would change. The black hole was finally removed in 2007, leaving the tent empty. It would feature Scarefest mazes in 2011 before it was removed in 2012. They say the perfect gifts are smile, but here at the Smiler Shop TV, our gift is a smile. Smile. S -s -s smile. We have just the thing to help you spread the happiness to everyone you meet. This is... They'll be thankful you have. After all, who wouldn't want to receive a gift from the, 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 the Smiler? Plans on what were coming were submitted in December 2011 TikTok filters be like. granted in March, despite the usual opposition the park gets. It would be Gerslauer who would build a new roller coaster for the park. Secret Weapon 7 was the first Infinity Coaster, Secret a variant of the popular 7. Eurofighter model such as Saw the Ride. It had been quite some time since Alton had received a real Secret Weapon thrill ride, with over 10 years since Secret Weapon 5 in 2002 aired. I don't really count Secret Weapon 6 as a thrill ride. Oh, I was about well, to say. That ride was a bit timid. At least it's uh, time now to get off. Oh, little, oh, little jolt there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get up. Ah! <laughs> what the hell? No, that doesn't count. Less than a month before permission was granted, a new website launched where you could input your information to get updates. We just watch a man ride. die? What just Secret happened? Secret Weapon 7 would feature two chain lifts, one being vertical, a drop of 19 <laughs> feet, and the most inversions on any <laughs> roller coaster in the whole world. At the time, the ride with the most inversions was also at a Merlin Park, with 10 on Colossus at Fort Park. Tied with one in China and another park was rumored to be working on an 11 loop ride. Alton didn't want to just beat that record, they wanted to smash it. The original brief called for 12 it. or more and they came back with 14. 
Located on the site of the black hole, with 20 tons of soil removed from the site similar to Nemesis due to the tree line restrictions at the park. The new ride would cost £18 million and was squeezed into a very small footprint. It would be Alton Tower's longest roller coaster 18... by track length. The track would be a very dark grey to fit the surrounding theme with a unique story. It was officially announced as the Smiler. It's $21 million for the Americans here. $21.5 million. That's a lot. A huge marketing campaign surrounded the upcoming attraction. Spray painting of the right. Can I just say that this is a really fucking cool logo? Like, this is really cool. I I'm into it. Like, this would pull me in immediately. It's so creepy. Its logo, which resembles a smiling face, began to appear all over the park and subliminal Way more effort than appeared at different sections of the, the Tower's website. You know, games the logo doing began appearing play all across place. the country, including billboards in London, train stations, themes. and even projected onto buildings such as Big Ben. A selection of sheep flocks Kids were also toy, but with bad? The logo around the UK, which really got the media talking. This week, we took the decision to paint sheep across the country to announce the name of our new world first roller coaster, the Smiler. That's what it's all about. The fuck? You see me smiling? I thought it was quite funny, actually. <laughs> I feel like I've had the wool pulled over my eyes. Me too. Nice I feel used. Mm. Rubbish. Average British PR stunt. <laughs> A countdown clock counted down to the ride opening what on the, the hell was that? March 2013. <laughs> on the very early plans which were discovered, eight inversions Why were do you guys make fun of us, tent, genuinely? An industrial grunge-style station, and while the dimensions of the final result were the same, the theme was <laughs> What the hell different. was that, bro? Original theme and elements shown were a giant mechanical spider, which the bro, ride would fly through the legs of. And while this was incorporated, this That's element sick. was completely different to the originally planned X-Sector industrial theme and it looks like the, the early daddy plans. long legs from a Pikmin. A smiler video game for mobile was released Whoa. and it had a much brighter theme. Hello, my name is Dr. Kelman. I'm chief of medicine here at the sanctuary. May I wish you all a very sincere welcome. By choosing the sanctuary, you can rest assured you're in safe hands. After all, we are the market leader in social compliance treatment. From before the ride's opening in 2012 through to 2014, Scarefest oh. at the park featured a haunted maze themed to the ride located inside the iconic towers, which would introduce the ride story and introduce the world to the Ministry of Joy. This old facility allowed you to check yourself in for a checkup for those who were down or had lost their smile. This concept was called Marmalization and was developed by the secret group called the Ministry of Joy. 50 years ago, yeah, I've got marmalade as well. the head of the project used a team to experience on the mind and body for an increased social satisfaction, as they put it. This method, though, often led to disfigured subjects who had been caged away in the basement of the sanctuary, and that was the story of this haunted maze. And Excuse this me? maze was actually pretty good. Each selected treatment accesses various parts of the body, body. and of the mind. mind. Body. In order to abolish any reoccurrence of any complaints. What the hell is happening? Welcome, dude? my friends, to the sanctuary. Ooh. 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 In 2012, the ministry had returned with Ooh. new modern methods Terrible to save pitch. us from the tragedy known as sorrow. The first patient to be marmalized Ow. was Miles Cedars. They made my eye twitch, bro. Miles Cedars. You do understand why you're here, don't you, Miles? He was only halfway marmalized, but it worked, and they kept going and wanted to spread joy to many more. The center of the Smiler ride features the what Marmalizer. What the fuck am I looking at? the rider at? will volunteer <laughs> to take this experience. <laughs> Ooh, this is the different so processes creepy, bro. seen on the marmalizer, the spider-like structure in the center of the ride, this would are bang the inner nowadays. Center, where a serum People is injected be all about into the this. patient's by syringe to give them a boost of joy. The tickler, where you are simply the tickled, tickler. you can't not smile. 
the flasher where bright lights from above will blind and disorient the patient, the giggler which used laughing gas to force you to laugh, and the hypnotizer where swirling illusions were used to disorientate and mesmerize you. Actually, Danny, can I have a look at these? Get them on camera. It says, Miles Cedars tests. Hey, stick them in your bag. No, seriously, stick them in the bag. They might be good for research or something. What do you think? Right. Yeah, take them. Wow. <gasps> oh my lord, bro. In January, the countdown time was removed and the opening of the Put him in my bag delayed, with nothing in it. To open in May for no reason. Didn't to have that. For the yeah, delay, I just carry my bag with nothing. Until mid -April. The official date for the opening was set as May 16th. This is creepy, dude. I love it. This wasn't met, though, due to delays in construction. The following day, a press event was held and a train stopped on the lift hill and riders were stuck for an hour before being evacuated. A new opening date of May 23rd was announced. The resort was booked out solid for the opening and the hype of the new attraction was huge. Marketing was seen everywhere and the world record looping roller coaster was about to open. Except it wasn't. Less than 24 hours before opening, the resort announced it would not again be opening due to teething problems. Tickets were revalidated and the hotel stays were rebooked with no clue when it would actually open. Due to what Eventually, problems? It did of course open on May 31st with no prior Where am I? I need a British translator. Day. The compact ride begins with a hidden inversion inside before entering the first lift hill and directly after a blur of inversion. Teven? What does that mean, bro? The ride. After its opening, the ride was closed multiple times due to technical issues. Twice within a week in early June, the train stalled during test runs during the means right wing element. It means the teeth of the roller coaster that makes it move. I don't fucking know, I'm guessing. Thanks, man. Really, really helping out. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna take a guess like I know what it is. All right, cool. It means small problems like a baby, baby teething. I could look it up myself and I have hundreds of people sitting here. I already showed you guys what 18 million pounds was in American dollars. You guys owe me at least this much. Don't be selfish. <laughs> before the park opened. The following month, 48 people were evacuated from the ride after an item fell from a section of the track described by riders as a one foot long metal bar or some kind of bolt. It caused two sections of the track to disengage, creating a small gap. Shortly after, the ride was closed for five days after cracks were found in the base of one of the ride's supports. Love that. Later in the same year, four people were injured when they were struck by guide wheels that detached from the chain during the vertical lift hill. So they as were you can struck. see, the opening year was quite troublesome. Unfortunately, though, something more tragic was going to occur two years after opening that oh. would severely damage the park's reputation, Someone's gonna die. attendance and income, and seriously injure multiple Someone's people. Someone's gonna die. As a word of warning, some of the following footage and information may be distressing. It's dubbed the most terrifying roller coaster ride on earth. This afternoon at nine minutes past two, the terror became real. No, it's past two. People were in the carriage which collided with an empty car on the Smiler roller coaster. On a very windy day on June 2nd, 2015, the ride was operated as normal, even though winds had reached 46 miles per hour and it was suggested not to operate over 34 miles per hour. Shortly after 1 p.m., the ride issued a warning light indicating a fault. Visitors on the ride were removed and engineers were called. At this point, the ride had been operating with four trains on the track. Staff had been told to add a fifth train due to the number of guests in the park and decided to do this while the ride was empty. While the fifth train was being added, employees sent an empty carriage around the track to check operation was normal. This empty train though failed to make it up the incline and a warning system was activated. Engineers successfully fixed this issue with the empty train. Due to a breakdown of communication, the engineers on site had not been told a fifth train had been added and began the process to restart the ride. With staff preparing to allow visitors back onto the ride, another empty train was sent around and failed to make the climb and roll back down the track and came to a rest in a valley. Operators on the ride were unaware the train Oops. was stuck on the track and the first car full of passengers was sent around the track. 
As it climbed the first lift hill, the ride system stopped it from moving ahead, indicating the track ahead was occupied as it was designed to do. The engineer, still not aware that five trains were on the track, checked the location of the four he believed were active and did not see the fifth train sat stalled on the track. He later stated he felt he was pressured to minimise downtime on rides. Along with a colleague, they overrode the safety warning and the train with passengers continued up the lift hill. This train then slammed into the stalled car, creating what some described as a horror scene similar to a 90 miles per hour car crash. As hundreds watched on in panic, the two cars rocked back and forth along the track with passengers at the front trapped between the crash barrier of the train. It took almost 20 minutes Jesus. for the first 999 call to be made. The injured passengers sat trapped on the track for four to five hours before they were able to be released from the carriage, with some suffering Excuse from me? significant blood loss. The injuries resulted in leg amputations, shattered knees and punctured lungs. If you think about how many theme parks there are in the world and therefore Whoa. how many thousands of people must ride on roller coasters every single day. Well, statistically, incidents like this are very rare indeed. But Alton Towers has said that this accident is the worst in its history. This tragic accident changed the lives of That's 16 people scary. riding the train forever. Right after the incident, the Smiler saw the ride and two other roller coasters at Chessington World of Adventure were closed while investigations got underway. Alton Towers was closed completely for five days as a result. After this, the Smiler remained closed while the other Merlin Parks rides were reopened. I'm Neil Craig. I'm HSE's Head of Operations for the Midlands. Neil Craig is a very British name. When people name. visit theme parks, they should be able to enjoy themselves safely. Neil Craig. On 2nd of June last year, Merlin Attractions Operations Limited failed to protect their customers. They let them badly <coughs> down. It is right that they've been held to account for those failings in a criminal court. Merlin were fined £5 million for a failure of health and safety rules over the crash. They also rejected the idea that they had put pressure on employees to keep downtime to a minimum Damn. over safety. Casual $8 the million. The impact of this crash would affect the resort drastically, and even to this day, they were to recover. Attendance plummeted after the incident, and Alton reported a $14 million drop in revenue as a result Wee. of the crash. Multiple rides were closed <laughs> in relation to the revenue loss, and investment into the park reached a new low. Woo! New safety measures were introduced and compensation claims still continue to be assessed. Goddamn. Throughout the last 16 months, <laughs> we've been... With the long pause and then you just be like, fuck. <laughs> I'm very aware that we would end up... It'd be really funny. ...facing a substantial penalty. <laughs> and that has now been delivered. However, what I would like to say ah, is that God. Alton Towers and indeed... There were didn't. so many ways this could have been prevented such as not running the ride in such high wind speeds as yeah well as better fucking that's, communication that's about fast how wins dude track. didn't tommy phil and will go to this park for a vlog did they really the millennial pause <laughs> they went to alton towers for a vlog really did they go on the smiler now nah, it's probably gone by then they did go on the smiler whoa oh my god that could have been my white boy oh shit the wider Merlin How recent is this? Not emotionless corporate entities. They're made up of human beings who care passionately about what they do. Wicked dicks. And in that respect, the far bigger punishment for all of us is the knowledge that on this occasion we let people down with such devastating consequences. 2015? It is something none of us will ever forget, and it is something we are utterly determined. Will never be repeated. Our lapse of judgment Nobody and need for profit has cost us millions and it's making me sad. The Smiler did reopen in March 2016 with new safety checks there and you go. all references to correction and marmalization removed. Many people still remain cautious to ride the attraction, but no further incidents have occurred since. Wait till you realize how unsafe most roller coasters are. Business, but also with the employees who called the park home, as well as the passengers who were injured, and continues to be a devastating day that the park has been working hard to put behind them. For many, though, it will never be. Wooden roller coasters are terrifying, by the way. Like a lot of roller coasters go through a lot of safety checks all the time. Wooden roller coasters are terrifying like like before we made them like the way the smiler is with this like the metal wooden roller coasters were like the move and like they are so scary strictly like like because wood warps when wood is used over time wood is warped and it's not like metal 
in which you can like he put the heating point up and, and like bend the metal back or like replace the metal. It's fucking wood. Like it's wood. And like that wood warps and stays warped. And it's terrifying. I like if you are a roller coaster connoisseur, I would suggest avoiding wooden roller coasters. I'm not saying it's a guarantee, but it's it's a lot forgotten they're, and it's they're sadly a bit what this record breaking ride is now a known lot for. harder it's a lot harder to to keep up to date like all of the the track bolting and and the the wood itself and everything is like unstable because thank you so much for joining us on this episode if you enjoyed it, subscribe. It has a hard time being around the wood and stuff. And follow us on Twitter and Instagram for updates on where we are heading next. A special thank you to our Patreon. Good channel, good channel, good channel. I subscribe. There's one in Montreal that has sometimes four trains at the same time and has two different tracks and it's the most creepy thing in the park. Yeah, I'm telling you. Terrifying. S scary stuff. I mean, like, I like a good roller coaster, but like wood roller coasters, I'm like full pass on because... For all, I mean, exactly what I said. It's it's literally like the wood warps and it messes with the track. It messes with the bolts with on the tracks and stuff like that. That theme park just added a wooden coaster with fire features. What the? F anyway, important information. Oh shit! Fart on my roommate's door. Ha. Did you see it? On the left side of the door frame, barely visible on camera, a white translucent mystery slowly creeps into frame. As so, what do you think? It's so loud. <laughs>